All right, guys, welcome to episode three. And in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to set up Nginx on our web server. So I've already gone up ahead and booted up our VM on DigitalOcean. And so this is the IP I'm going to be using. Um, you guys can use whatever you want. If you want to go with Linode, go with Linode or uh, cloud servers from Rackspace and go ahead and do that. I like DigitalOcean, so I'm just going to go ahead and use that one. All right. So first things first is we need to log in as root and uh, using the IP that I just copied from DigitalOcean, uh, should be able to log in just fine. Yes. All right. There we go, now I'm in. All right, so first things first. First thing, when you boot up a, a, a VM, it probably has old repositories and you know, it's not been updated or whatever. Uh, it's usually they give you a snapshot of an, of an older version. Uh, so it's like stuck in time. So basically we need to update our repositories and make sure that everything is up to date and install all the updates that is required. So the first thing I usually do is do sudo uh, app get update. And what that's gonna do is it's gonna go ahead and update and check to see if there are any outdated packages on our, our server. And the next step is sudo app get upgrade hyphen Y. So the hyphen Y basically tells the server to uh, just answer yes for everything. You know, if there's any question, you know, just answer yes for it. So just go ahead and install the updates without bothering us, pretty much. So it's going to do that, let it do it, and uh, you know, we'll be right back. All right, so uh, all the update has been installed. So now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install a few essential tools that we're going to need to use uh, later on sudo app get install uh, curl vim build essential software and I think I'm missing one git core that's right hyphen y so it's gonna go ahead and install all that stuff uh, that we're going to need uh, as we set up our server. All right, so that's done. That was pretty quick. Um, okay, so now that we've installed all the basic stuff, let's go ahead and set up a, a deployer user. So a user other than root, uh, because it's not very secure, is it? Anyway, so let's add our uh, group, add group, admin. So we're adding a group called admin, and we're going to add a user into that group, add user. Deployer in group admin. Uh, let's just type in a password. Yes. All right. So now we have a deployer user. Now the thing is. We have what we call a SSH key pair setup where we've installed a public key on the server and when I booted up DigitalOcean, it asked me which key I want to use. So if you are logging in as a, as a, a user who is not root, you're going to need to like set up the SSH key. So I've got a tool on my Mac called SSH copy ID and I'm going to type in deployer and IP address. So it's 162 dot two four three dot one three six dot seven nine all right so now what it's going to do is it's going to go ahead and copy my public key into the server and authorize my computer as someone who can log into the server so it's going to ask me for that password i put in earlier all right so see password there it is all right so I've added the key so now technically speaking if I sign in as deployer 162.243.136.79 I should be able to log in without typing in my password yep and there we go look at that cool Okay, so the next thing is we need to uh, set up what we call a PPA uh, repository for Nginx. So to do that, we're going to do sudo add apt 
repository, PBA, Nginx. So the reason we don't use um, the Nginx that comes with Ubuntu is because they usually bundle the old version. So I think in this uh, Ubuntu that I have, uh, 12.14.3 LTS, they bundle U Nginx 1.1.1.19 or something like that, which is really old. So uh, they have a repository, uh, something that they maintain themselves, uh, right over here at PPA Nginx as stable. So I'm just going and add that to my repository. There we go. All right. Okay, so I've added that. Now I'm going to do sudo app get update. So just to make it look at the new repositories. And then I'm just going to do an Nginx install. So it's now going to install Nginx. Go ahead and yes for that. All right, so let's go ahead and start up Nginx. Oops. Service Nginx start. Okay, that seems to have worked. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use this IP and we're gonna try access it and see what happens. Awesome, so Nginx is installed and it's working and it's serving our page. So. Essentially, if we wanted to build a static web server, we're pretty much almost there. I mean, now our server is actually serving a static page and uh, you know, we can actually go and ha have a look. Um, so if we go to uh, Etsy, Nginx folder, and we see in here, okay, let's see sites enabled. Let's go in there, sites enabled. All right, so let's go ahead and check out default. See what that's doing. So essentially, this is something which has been uh, pre-set up for us. Uh, it basically, it has a server block, and you know, it's set up that this is the default server, and it's listening on port 80, which is a standard HTTP port. Um, so it, it, most of this stuff, you know, right out of the bat, if you just go ahead and read through it, you'll understand exactly what it's doing. Um, we're going to go into detail in the next video on how to actually write your own uh, server blocks and your own ser uh, Nginx configuration file. Um, but essentially, if you just load up the default one and have a look at it and read through it, you'll be able to understand what exactly it is doing. Um, it's setting up the root uh, folder. So there's a folder called USR share Nginx HTML, and it's picking up this index.html. So let's go ahead and go and have a look at what exactly is in the content of that file. So it's USR share Nginx HTML. All right, so there it is, the index.html. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cat that out. So check this out. Over here, we have .html, welcome to Nginx, blah, blah, blah. You know, basic HTML to show, basically it renders out to that, right? So that, that's where that file is coming from. So you know the server for uh, setting up you know, a static page, for serving static pages is, is pretty much done. And we, it comes with a default you know, configuration file you can go and read through. Um, in the next video, I'm gonna be sh explaining to you guys more uh, you know, how to write your own Nginx configuration file. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video.